got the uh, mic house mic adapter housing adapter from Motorrads trying that out I know we got a lot of wind right now but, uh, try the angle I might have to, it looks like I might have to readjust the angle I don't know we'll see how it works but I like it, it's just angles on it's a little hard so uh, tweak it here and there and see how things work so far I like it um, you gotta I actually gotta get back into writing and motovlogging and thanks to JDR talking with me about uh, my uh, X up valve uh, X up valve is completely new to me um, I don't know the best way to describe it it's a valve that's in your exhaust uh, yeah so it's like a little forks and it lines up with a hole and like it goes like this and you turn the key and it goes like this and then it goes back like this and so you rev and it goes rrr, rrr. yeah that, that's close enough for the cam I don't know but so it's adjusted properly from what guys on the uh, FZ1 group on Facebook have said and what JDR was saying. Uh, they are saying that in the video, it doesn't look like that it's moving very much, but I, like, I was just like slightly flipping the throttle. So. I was just slightly flipping the throttle, so it wasn't moving a whole lot. Uh, but it, like, I checked it when I was like hitting throttle more, and it works. Like it's moving, so. As you can see, I got a uh, new jacket. Sorry, I ditched one of the ones uh, I didn't care too much for. Uh, the jacket shall not be named. I really don't care talking about it or the company. I don't want to badmouth them, but I think everyone knows like who did it. Ooh, a little hot. So I have an Icon Mesh AFCE. Yes, it's called a Mesh AFCE. I think everyone knows what the AF stands for. It's mesh as fuck, dude. Like the ultimate summer jacket. I've had my eye on it since it came out. So the uh, only thing I don't care for is it doesn't have a whole lot of pockets, but the two uh, like stomach pockets down here like they're they're pretty big i put an envelope in one earlier because i had to go drop an envelope off at uh the post office i put an envelope in and like it fits pretty good so i liked it and, like, i think this came out spring of last year and i've had my on it eye on it since uh D30 armor, the Icon D30 armor. Uh, it's got the uh, cinches in the arms. So you got the forearm, and then like up on the bicep, uh, you have snap adjusters for the waist. Uh, it is a little itchy. I'm wearing a short sleeve underneath it, but it'll get it to break in some more. Um, I kind of wish instead of like the cinch adjusters like these, it would uh, it would be like the snap adjusters. But like I do like these because they stretch still. So like you can, you can get it pretty freaking snug. I went with the large because the uh, medium, like without adjusting the uh, adjusters, the medium was like too tight my forearms. So um, it's got the pre-curved uh, arms. So like it's not like it's rolling up or anything on me. 
So, what the hell? Oh my god. But, it's the uh, gray, so it matches the bike a little bit. The gray or silver with uh, reflective. That was the big thing. I don't have a I don't have a whole lot of like reflective gear and I'm trying to get back to reflective gear and like I really wanted a summer jacket and like this fit the bill 180 bucks um it's their level one back protector but it's still d30 um I might go with the level two like an extra uh 40 bucks for that for a level two I think but next uh, step is getting actual riding boots because like right now i'm riding in chucks so what the hell do you not know how to turn hummer it's friday um out of school and a lot of jobs are out because battle of the flowers it's fiesta uh, it's like the whole freaking city shuts down sometimes for Fiesta. And, uh... So, like, the schools are out. Uh, some of the stores are closed or opened late because Battle of the Flowers was the parade this morning. Flambeau Parade is tomorrow evening. Like, Fiesta's a big thing down here. And it's a lot of fun. Um if you like drinking a lot and yeah there's uh niosa a night in old san antonio where obviously it's like evenings and nights but um it's pretty much just like if you want to touch a lot of booze and uh, ass without like getting in trouble that's pretty much the place like i took my mom last year the year before it was the year before uh, but I took her one time because like she'd never been I've been a couple times and um, she, Like she wanted the experience so we went and it's like literally How many people can you fit in one small area is what it turned out to be like oh my god There was like so many people it was ridiculous But you're like packed in like sardines So you're just like shuffling around and like you got boobs and ass and everything else touching you and, uh beer being spilled on you like it, it it gets a little crazy they do got really good food there they do like uh i think one of the sands had frog legs there's escargot uh each little section of uh lava Lita is where it's at so each little section of lava Lita is like a different like country theme not continent the country a yeah, different country theme so uh you got the like the german section so you have like schnitzel on a stick uh you got corn on a cup everywhere you got roasted corn everywhere uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, another fun one for fiesta is oyster bake uh, done at st mary's university and it's pretty much oysters 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 but there's again at the university there's different levels or different areas where things are at so you have like the different theme stages so you have like the country stage the rap stage hispanic stage or like i think it's the international stage i think it might be hispanic i don't know but um so you have like all the different stages like different performers and like there's actually some big name performers that come out um uh, i forgot who went was there one year i just go there i don't go for the music so much. i just go to hang out with friends and stuff but i went there one year and there was like someone big on stage or on the main stage and uh it, it was pretty packed but at least like there you have more room to like move around but like my big thing is like the prices of tickets went way up you know i'm not a big fan of that so i, I was paying like 15 20 bucks at the time and it, it's quite a bit more now and uh, i'm good on that I, i've had the experience a couple times i'm good uh, so especially if you have more people going like why increase the pricing like i understand kind of from the business standpoint of it but like if you have more people going it means you're getting more money so but it also means you have to have more room more security yeah i get it but oh by the way i'm bubba texas y'all can call me bubba y'all can call me eric that's cool with me uh kind of like my 
I'm back video, sort of. It's mostly just testing out the mount and having fun with this jacket, which, oh my god, so much air goes through it, it's ridiculous. But, yeah, I'm just kind of scatterbrained right now, not in the greatest mood, but doing simple service on my bike like checking the x-up valve checking the oil which i'm going to need to do oil soon it's getting dark in the oil but uh i did my chain clean and lubricated it and i cleaned up my back tire because i always tend to uh sprinkle lube across my back tire when i'm doing like looping up my chain so i always want to make sure i clean up my back tire so that one side of my tire is not slick uh chain can last me a little bit longer there's small spots of surface rust um it, it's nothing to be worried about right now but it's something to keep an eye on of course i do want to do more maintenance videos and stuff like that so but i gotta get better at maintenance videos and i gotta be in the mood to do maintenance videos and brake pads are good on this and uh, like it's just basic stuff just everything just needs i keep an eye on it and that's what i do regularly like i keep an eye on a lot of my stuff so did i click this all the way i didn't still need to do a review on this helmet and i've worn this helmet a lot now so i've gotten a lot of use out of it um still want to get on the highway with it but other than that uh, i'll be rolling out videos like as i can I uh, got a lot of things going on um, with work I've been too tired to ride once I get off work or if I do ride I'm just too tired to like talk about stuff so I just I just ride home I commute a lot back and forth with the bike but that's pretty much all I use the bike for so mm. Do want to do more rides looking at doing a memorial day ride coming up no. anyways i'll catch you on the next one bubba texas i'm out ride safe have fun enjoy the beautiful weather thanks for watching